Hi guys, welcome to this video tutorial on creating an image gallery in ASP.NET Core 2.1. In my last video tutorial, we finished creating our application DB context class and added a connection string to our app settings.json class. I'm sorry, to our app settings.json file. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add a service to our startup.cs class. We are going to configure our database context service in our startup.cs class. If you're not familiar with ASP.NET Core or ASP.NET application structure, the thing to understand here is that when you run this application, at runtime, the first thing that the ASP.NET Core application will look for is a startup.cs class. These are basically your applications services or that you require in order for your application to work properly. So we are going to add a service that will initiate our connection with to, with our database or with our server so that within our application we can communicate with our database using this service so let's go ahead and create this service that is services dot uh, add db context that is our database context and add database context for our application.db context class, which is the class that we are going to use to communicate with our database. Let's add the missing reference. And now what we want to do is we want to provide all the options here the options that we will use to communicate with our database, to connect with our database. And as you know that when we created the application DB context class, when we are creating an object, we need to pass a parameter that is the options. So now let's go ahead and pass these parameters over here. So we will use Lambda expression over here options options dot and then we are going to call use sql server now use sql server because our server is sql server and we are seeing this error because we are missing the reference for entity framework core. Now we will provide within our user SQL server methods parameters the required options. The first thing that we want to say is the connection string. So let's do that. So con configuration dot get connection string and our connection string our connection string is called as default connection so let's copy this and paste it over here cool. we are done with this now now what we want to do is we want to save this and we can go ahead and close our startup.cs file now the next thing that you want to do is go ahead and open your terminal. Now you want to type cd and cd into your project folder so that right click on your solution and reveal in finder. Open back your terminal and drag and drop your project folder onto your terminal. Now let's hit enter. Now let's create our migrations. To create our migrations, we will type in the following command .NET EF stands for Entity Framework Migrations Add and the name of your migration. Since it's my first migration, I'm going to call it Initial Create and then I'm going to hit Enter. Now, as you see, there will be a migrations folder being created for me. 
by NDD framework core for the application and there it is now if you go to the migrations folder and then you click on the initial create file it, you see this number because it's the date timestamp when the initial create migration was created now if I open this there will be an up and down method anything between the up method will be executed when the application runs so all we have between this up method is the code to create our database tables for gallery gallery images and for our ASP.NET user and user roles we see this additional code here because we inherited our application DB context class from identity user or identity DB context therefore we are seeing this additional tables being created for us by entity framework so that we can implement authentication and authorization for our APIs in our application but since we are not going to implement it I'm not going to cover that in this video tutorial or during this video tutorial series all we are going to do is create a gallery of images and I'll show you how to implement CRUD, application, CRUD operations on that image gallery so finally what you want to do is once your migration has been created you want to make sure that the database table has been created so to create our database tables and our database let's go ahead and run the following command dotnet ef database update and you need to provide the name of the migration that contains your code to create the database so it is initial create and hit enter so as you see the code has been executed between the up method and all the tables that we need are being created in our database now to double check if our database and our tables are created you can open your GUI that you use to access or to manage your SQL Server instances in my case on a Mac I'm using Azure Data Studio you probably if you're using Windows you have SSMS which is SQL Server Management Studio for people using Mac you can make use of Azure Data Studio which is one handy GUI in order to manage your SQL Server instances now let's go ahead and refresh my database to see if my image gallery DB was created as you see when I refreshed the image gallery DB appears where did I get this image gallery DB name it's from the connection string that we created in our app settings.json file we make sure that our database is named as image gallery DB an entity framework when created our database as we see here in our Azure data studio it named it as image gallery DB now if you look at the tables you will have your asp.net identity related tables for implementing membership in your application as well as those two tables that we created which was galleries and gallery images the naming com convention appears here as plural as you see we wanted to name our entities in our application db context class as gallery and gallery images entity framework code used the plural version as well and created the database tables for us in our database called as galleries and gallery images so that's it for this video tutorial now our database is set now all we want to do is go ahead and create our controller once we create our controller we can then create the methods for adding updating and editing our images and image gallery so please watch the next video tutorial thank you